Warmer weather is here, and so are the fresh flavors of spring. Check out the spring menu rolled out at the Angry Olive Italian Bistro in Rocky Hill, owned by the La Rosa family of Meriden. Executive chef Alex Ruggiero is here to showcase one of the tasty dishes, and he's joined by pastry chef Darcy Pierce. Great to have you guys both here. Yeah, it's Thank great you. to be here. Now, do you can always change up the menus with the season. Yeah, we're trying to do just like you would have in Italy. We're trying to use you know, stuff that is local to us the freshest ingredients, and uh, we try to prepare that food that way at the restaurants. That way, the people who come in are going to be able to dine and get that experience. Uh, that's great. Now, what do you have new in the, in the uh, dessert side? Um, we're actually doing special dessert cupcakes, seasonal cupcakes, like a lemoncello and a tiramisu. And the two that we've done this oh, past weekend. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite? I like the lemoncello. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Are, these, are these all your creations, yes. Darcy? Is it difficult to come up with different uh, recipes for uh, these types of desserts? Not really. It's kind of easy to play around with different recipes. And so how do you decide what, what you're going to put on that menu? Whatever's fresh. Whatever's fresh and whatever comes to mind to play with. Really? So it really depends on what's out there, what's, yes. uh, what's available. Definitely. Okay, so we are coming and up with something really different today, a little yes. different, perfect, with a different twist. Yeah, perfect example is the dish we're going to be making today, which is pan-seared uh, lamb rack. Usually it would be grilled, but we don't have a grill here, so we just do it right in the pan. It's you just can do it right delicious. in the pan at home right, as well, right? right? Yep. And yeah, we're just going to serve it with like kind of like a wilted salad of fresh dandelion greens. We actually got them from a local farm, so they're you know, nice and fresh. And uh, some fiddlehead ferns. I don't know if people are familiar with these or not. They actually grow pretty much wild all over Connecticut. And I've seen them everywhere, and that's stuff. why I was shocked to yeah. see it here. <laughs> They're a little different, but we like to play around with fresh stuff. So, well, let's talk about what you've already done going. to the. What did you do to the uh, lamb chops prior? Uh, we to? just season them with salt and pepper and put them over kind of medium, medium high heat and with a little bit of oil in here just to get some color. So olive oil, regular oil. Would you, um, use? you can use. I use olive oil. You can use canola oil, whatever you like. You so can put it. Salt and pepper. That's it yeah, so far. About ten minutes on each side. You were just touching it, so I like to. What touch does that it to tell see, you? That, that tells me the temperature that it's cooked to. This I can tell it's still a little rare. So if you were at home and you were making this, you could put it right into the oven just like this, and it would cook it to whatever temperature you like. Medium. You want it a little pink? For this lamb, this is really a high quality lamb, so yeah, you would want it like medium rare, really. Yeah. And so how do you know when it's medium rare by just touching it? Is it a little um, firm in the edge on the edge? Yeah, yeah. Once it starts to firm inside. up a little bit, you can tell and the juices start coming out of it, then you know it's ready to eat. <laughs> you don't want it to dry out. No, 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 definitely thing, right? not. Okay. Right. All right. What did you do? what did you just do, Darcy? I just cleaned some of the dandelion greens. I've okay. taken the ends off. So that we can just throw them in the pan and start sauteing them. Yeah, and you can get dandelion uh, greens at, at the, any of these markets now, Darcy? Yeah, we've been getting them through the Urban Oaks Farms. Yeah. And a couple of local farms around. Oh, that's so great. Sexy. Okay. Uh, now, when I when you think of dandelion greens, are these really dandelion greens? Um, yeah. The ones you know that you see. In your yeah, yard? you can take them right out of your yard if you wanted Seriously? to. Seriously? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay. Um, All right. So, what are you doing there? Are we just browning up some garlic, and we're gonna add our um, sliced red onion in here to try to give it a little bit of sweetness. Okay. And once that cooks down a little bit, we're going to go ahead and add the uh, dandelion greens. Now, the last time you were here, you talked about being part of the American Liver Foundation's Flavors of Connecticut Gallon. How did that yeah, go? Yeah, this was actually uh, this last Tuesday, and it was a huge success for them. They raised a lot of money. Um, it was an honor to be invited there. We got, got to work with a lot of different chefs, and it was just a lot of fun for us. We got to make you know, a great... Uh, seasonal little menu, and they had a live auction, a silent auction. It was a lot of fun. It was very exciting. Well, you support all kinds of charities. What do you guys have upcoming uh, um, in your calendar? We just did the Taste of Weathersfield. We have some stuff coming up in the future. Um, right now, we're focusing on our, our patio. We, we're going to do the Share Our Strength event. Mm -hmm. Uh, coming so up. glad you mentioned the patio because you have some pictures that we want to share with everybody. Yeah, it, it's just opened up, I think, about two days ago. So it's really quite nice. They have a fireplace out there. You can come down and you can come during the day and enjoy the sun. They have a, a, a house-made panini with our fresh bread. Or you can come in there uh, at nighttime. There's a fireplace, lounge chairs, have a cigar, glass of wine, you know, whatever you want to do. Well, the patio itself is... Oh, 
just opened, you said, like, what, just a few days ago, yeah, right? Yeah, just, just so opened, yep. We haven't had great weather. <laughs> Not yet, today. Yeah, yeah, but we're getting there, aren't we? So yes. it's a good time to come out there and enjoy yeah. it. And we also have all kinds of live entertainment, which we have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We have uh, the karaoke night, which we started on Wednesday, which is exciting. We're trying to get more people to come in. And then we have uh, the jazz night on Thursday, and then the live entertainment Friday night for the dining crowd. Yes. And then um, Saturday we have uh, kind of a upbeat, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of him, Tony Reale. He brings in a lot of people. It's a lot of fun. He gets the, uh, the dance hall going and everything, so it's a lot of fun. All right, let's get back to our cooking. Yeah, and let's definitely. see what's going on if here. If you just want to pass me that plate, we can go ahead and plate this, this up. Pl this plate? Yeah. Okay. Very so good. you want to throw some grapes in the air, and then oh. we'll be all set. You don't want to wilt the greens either too much, do you? Too much, not too much. I actually like them a little bit more uh, crispy than this, just real quick in the pan. But this is good like this, too. Now, Darcy, as he's doing that, let's talk about what's on the dessert menu. I love desserts. That's like the first thing I look at, Darcy. I, it's, depending on what's on the dessert, I generally say no to appetizers because I know I'm going to have a dessert. So I know you have Mother's Day coming up. What do you have planned for that day? Not sure yet for Mother's Day what the dessert's going to be, but we did come out with a new dessert menu, which has a coconut cake, a chiffon, chocolate chiffon cake with a caramel sauce and vanilla gelato. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. Vanilla gelato. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what else? Um, we have the strawberry ricotta tart. And then that's the basically the new desserts, and we're going to be doing good. dessert specials every weekend. Well, I'll be coming out and have yeah. one of your desserts. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Fabulous. All right, so what are we doing here now? Uh, basically, we have the, uh, the sautéed dandelion greens with the grapes, garlic, red onion. Um, you can throw the if, you, if you like the fiddleheads, you can throw those in. Uh, what did you do to them? You just throw them right in there, briefly saute them. I boiled them in water for five minutes prior to coming here, so okay. they're and ready that's to it? eat. Yeah, you can eat them just like this. I didn't know if you if you like the fiddleheads, so I left them out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you I can think throw I'm them. Pass on that. Yeah, they look funny, but they're they're tasty. Okay, and now you're doing the glaze. What is yeah, what, this, what's in the glaze? This sauce is actually very easy to make. You can make it Oops. at your house. It takes like ten minutes. I'm pulling so out all a knife it is, here. You can go to the grocery <laughs> store, get yourself some like we're using grapes so this is actually welch's grape juice okay. and it's just going to reduce it down and that's your sauce all right of course we have the recipe on our website yeah. but if you do <laughs> want to check out the great food out there go to the angry olive italian bistro at 1625 silas dean highway in rocky hill on that website is the angry olive Dot com. Their phone yes. number is 860-257-8402. Alex and Darcy, thanks so much for joining me. And Anytime. should I try just a little bit? Just a little. Try it. It's delicious. Whoops. <laughs> kinda, hold on. I'm going to have to. Whoops. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm having a oh, little tough good. time. Okay. Here we go. It's a little on the rare side, but it's, it's delicious, oh, it's, I'm sure. It's very good. <laughs> Thank you very much.